Popcorn is a really easy snack to make at home. All you need is a pot, bit of oil, corn kernels of course, and salt or sugar, the way you prefer it. Uh, but if you're thinking of selling it, you need a proper, efficient machine. Therefore, I want to show you a popcorn machine from Royal Catering. But before I show you how it works, let me just go over some technical details and I answer some of the questions I found on the internet. Um, one of the most frequently asked questions is uh, the question about the weight. And it is quite important because, uh, well, you need to carry whatever it is being used or it is planned to be used. Uh, it weighs 28 kilograms, so it is still quite portable. Uh, second question is about the efficiency. Uh, and it goes through five up to six kilograms of corn in an hour. So that's quite a lot. I don't know if you can imagine, but 16 kilograms of popcorn, well, that's quite a lot. All right, some other technical details. Um, it works with 1600 watts, so you just plug it in and you're pretty much ready to go. Um, you have a stainless steel and tempered glass construction, so you don't need to worry about breaking these. These are pretty sturdy uh, glass sheets. Uh, doors open outwards, that gives you access to the main chamber. A uh, really cool feature is the fact that you can open this door or hatch if you prefer. This gives you access to the main chamber. By the way, the scoop and the measuring jar uh, are in, in the set, they're included. So this is for your uh, popcorn or for your corn kernels to be uh, portioned into the pot and of course that's for the oil. Uh, by the way, the instruction manual says you need 50 mils of oil uh, for a portion and 150 grams of corn kernels. Alright, the heart of the device is the pot. So I get to the controls in a second. Uh, the pot has a lid which is magnetized so when you lift it, it will stay up. This will make uh, the whole uh, dosing really easy so you can just pop your corn kernels or oil the salt or sugar into the pot. The pot is, has a teflon coating inside so that prevents uh, the popcorn from sticking to it uh, and of course it makes it easy to clean. Uh, in order to empty the pot you just pull the lever down just like so and you can empty it, clean it out and so on. Uh, but the really interesting feature is this steering unit. So that button turns it on. So let me just turn it on. As you can see, it will turn the whole time the popcorn is cooking. What it does, basically it scrapes the bottom of the pot. It lifts the cooked, uh, well, the popped corn uh, up and it drops the uncooked kernels on the surface of the pot, which will uh, still cook. So you get the most out of each portion. Um, second button, of course, turns the heating element on in the pot and the third button, which is the power and light, it turns the heating element in the floor and the light on. So the light emits some uh, heat and of course there's also a heating element on the floor so when you prepare your popcorn it will stay nice and warm for your guests. Talking about the bottom, as you can see there's some perforations on the bottom. The perforations are just big enough for the uncooked kernels to fall through because you don't want to serve your guests with uh, uncooked corn. It's pretty hard and they can break a tooth, so that's never good. Uh, the uncooked kernels will be cut by this drawer and one piece of advice, well you can reuse those, so that will reduce your wastage as well. Um, it is quite uh, tricky to pick them out, but well, if you have the time between um, movies, well, that's one thing to be done. All right, so that's pretty much all the technical details about the machine. So let's just turn it off and I show you how to make popcorn. So there you go. Let's turn the power and light on. Let's open the doors. Lift the hatch, it will stay up. I uh, already measured out my ingredients, so I just pop my corn in. Let's do the oil inside as well. Y by the way, uh, one piece of advice, you can use any type of oil, but just remember this device will heat up really quickly and it goes up really high, up to 220 degrees even. So you need proper oil, uh, palm oil, coconut oil, uh, canola oil, uh, whatever you prefer. Uh, but just make sure you use um, 
uh, oil with high burning temperature. Uh, what I also like to do, I always put some seasoning straight in the pot. Um, works with sugar and salt. What this does when the corn pops, uh, it will be instantly coated with the seasoning. All right, but that's enough talking. Let's drop the lid, turn the churning element on, turn the heat on, close the doors, and now we have a minute and a half to get the portion of popcorn ready. So let's have a look. All right, my popcorn is nearly done. When you hear it stops popping or it pops once in three seconds, it means it's ready. Uh, better to take it out early than, uh, earlier than later because later it can be burned. So we don't want that. Let's turn the turning element off, the heating element off. Let's open the doors, lift the lid, and then you can empty the pot into the main chamber. All right, so always remember, when you season it, it's best when it's still hot. So give it a bit of a stir afterwards, just to get rid of all the uncooked kernels. They will fall through these perforations I told you about. And all that is left is just to popcorn to be served. So a couple of scoops in a bowl or in a box, whatever. Too easy. All right. I hope I answered all your questions, I hope you liked the video, I thank you guys very much for watching and I see you next time.